my lovely Hawthorns. Welcome to my channel. Sorry about the mic. I do not know how to work this thing quite yet. I've had it for a couple months and haven't used it, so bear with me. But today we will be tier ranking book couples on where I think they belong. So let's get into it. to the actual tier ranking part. As you can see, we have five categories. We have soulmate, which pretty much means that these characters absolutely were meant to be together. We have cute, which is pretty explanatory. You could have been better. I like the couples, but just wish there was more to them. Just not feeling it. You had the potential, which just didn't hit that mark. And then just no. Didn't like the couples, did not like them being together. They were better off with someone else. So the first one we have is Zanin and Violet from Fourth Wing. I think I'm going to be putting them more in the cute range because I didn't quite love them together, but didn't hate them together. We have Trish and the Four from Divergent. I'm going to put them, I think, they could have been better because I don't think they were better than Zanin and Violet, but they were still really good. One, they were still a good couple, and I quite enjoyed reading one about them they just had a lot of bumpy stuff in their relationship more things that could have been prevented next is ng and kaz these characters will be going in soulmates i love their characters they deserve to be together all the way next we have nash and libby from the inheritance game i honestly think they're going to probably be in a cute range they deserve to be together all the way i enjoyed them a lot during the Whole book. Of course, there wasn't a whole lot to them in the book with the inner couple, but they definitely, I definitely think they would be a cute couple. Percy Jackson and Annabeth. Now, I have not read full Percy Jackson book, my bad, but a lot that I've heard about them, I would probably put them in the cute category. I think they'd be cute together, but since I haven't really read the book, I can't really full on say. So now we have Robbie and Pip, soulmates. All the way, there's nothing to explain there, really. I just think they should together, be together, honestly. They were cute throughout the book. I loved it. Now we have Katniss and Pita from The Hunger Games. I feel like they could have been better, but it's like my really bad. That's my unpopular opinion, I feel like. They could have been a lot better, I feel like, if their characters were made differently. So now we have Michael and Cassie from The Naturals. I just finished that first book recently. Honestly, I'm not feeling the Michael and Cassie one. I know they aren't actually a couple. It never says in the first book, but I'm going to space it off of what the book was about. So I'm thinking I'm putting this one, just not feeling it. I did not enjoy them. I don't think I could see them as a couple. Next, yeah, we have Dean and Cassie, which I gotta tell you is going in soulmates. I like them. I think they'd be a better. I think they'd be a better couple than the other one. So we have Grayson and Avery. And I'm probably appearing again. Just not feeling it. I don't think they would do good together. Everyone, this is in Grayson and Team James. Jameson? Yeah, I'm Team Jameson. So, as you can tell, Jameson and Avery, Avery will be in the cute range. Not exactly soulmates, but I still enjoy them. And I like their characters being together a lot better. We got James and Lily Potter, Harry Potter's parents from Harry Potter. There's not much in the book to go off of, but what I've heard, it could have been better. They could have been better, I think. Put more details into their love life. But again, the book is not based off them, so don't come at me for that. Now, Harry and Ginny, they're, I think they're in more of the cute range. I think I can find, find them cute, but not soulmates, because I feel like there's a lot more that could have went on to make them more into the soulmate category. So they will be in the cute category. We got... Cedric and Choi. Sorry if I butchered those names. Not great with them. I'm gonna put you could have been better. I think that's where they mostly belong. I feel like there could have been a better way to put the relationship. So Ron and Hermione. I say I gotta go Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Perfectly fit each other a lot. So then I have we'll do our range here.
Nina and Andy. Nina and Andy Winchester from the Housemaids. Just now, first, first reading book, I would have put them probably in like the cute soulmates range. Not anymore. He's a drink. <laughs> so, and there's Connor and Belly. I we're gonna put them in the cute range as well. I think that's where they belong. I think they would be really cute together. I like them as a couple though. They would be I need to finish the book too. It's another book I haven't finished. But honestly, they would be really good. Then we have Jude in Garden. They're in the soulmates. I'm sorry, but they completely deserve it. They deserve to be together full on. I don't care who says what. But they deserve it. And lastly, we will be doing Finny and Autumn from I Should Have Told Him Sooner. They, I feel like, are very cute, I would say. I think they were perfect for each other. I just wish they would have realized it sooner. And realized they both love each other very much sooner. So yeah. And it'll be part one of the video. I will have a part two at some point. Once I read more books, maybe even to finish some of the books I haven't finished yet that are on this list to see how I feel and see if my rating changes at all. But these will be finished. And there will be a part two, maybe even a part three. We'll have to see. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. And have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Bye.